After leaving Australia, we decided to go back to Bali to see some friends we'd met last time. We stayed in our favorite hotel and ate at our favorite regular beach shack where we did a lot of work. What are you doing? One person the kids always asked about was Uncle Gaday, the driver we found in North Bali. Always on time, nothing's too hard, so funny and great with kids. While we were there, we got a surprise visit from our good friends, the Thompsons. Shani and the kids went shopping while the boys went spearfishing with Mario. What a champion. After saying goodbye to the Thompsons, we headed back to KL. So we're hanging out with two of Joshi's best friends from Australia in KL. They're the coolest guys, hey G. Yeah, they spend the morning building Lego for the kids. And now they're babysitting practically in the background there. <laughs> but we're just super fortunate that Josh has the coolest friends that he's been friends with since high school. So, and they still are really close. Good boys, good boys all around. And we get to hang out with them as well. and we normally have the kids in bed at this time so we can start work but we thought let's have a late night and go for a walk. Yeah. Yeah. All right so we're packing like crazy but we're excited because we're going to China. Say hi. We're excited about China. Tomorrow is a travel day for us, so busy culling back on things that won't fit, that we can give to charity like shoes and socks and things like that that we just accumulate. It's China, so we're wearing um, closed toe shoes and socks, so we're getting rid of our open shoes so that we can cover up. We're not sure, but apparently that um, it's natural for Chinese to just spit on the ground, so we just want to be prepared with um, shoes and socks for the kids. So we are busy, aren't we? Where's my little helper? Come here. Come here, say hi. <laughs> From KL, we headed into China. First day out in China. <laughs> and we're a freak show. Everyone's staring at us. 
Kind of dive scuba world. Look how big it is. It's an entire Huge. building. That's wow. the entrance with two dolphins. Totally. I wasn't that expecting this much of a freak show, but every single person <laughs> looks at us not like friendly as in Indonesia and Thailand and Cambodia. Everyone looks at us like, oh, big family. Over here, they look at us like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what freak is show. that? They just got this weird look on their face like, oh, <coughs> who and what is that? Because I don't get it. Shenzhen was our first stop. People told us that the language barrier was massive, and they were right. I really take my hat off to the Chinese people who travel to Western countries. It's a very humbling experience being so isolated with language. Still, we made the most of it. Ordering food was really hard, so we stuck with the basics. Fruit and vegetables. Chinese people love to eat organ meats, so we basically became vegan for a month because we just didn't know what anything was. We know about three words, like you can do counting to ten with symbols, which is so cool. Sevens like this, yeah? And what else? So the kids are immersing themselves so much in the Chinese language, which was super fun. Uh, <laughs> now, as for us being able to Snapchat and Facebook and everything, it's not easy in China because it's banned. So we aren't going to be on here heaps because of that. And also Snapchat shoots through um, internet data and we only get 15 gigs high speed. Mm, can I get a key thing? There's another rule here in China. And we need to send out high speed internet for working, uh, but we are filming everything and we'll go in our episodes and we'll check in here as much as we can. Shenzhen is a modern city with a lot to do, but because of the internet restrictions, we had to cross the border to Hong Kong. Now that's an interesting city, and guess what's in Hong Kong? Disneyland. 